Hi there, my name is Elena and to be honest, I didn't plan to film this video. I just sat in the morning to my table and decided to finish my line of cut and then realized that I'm filming for 30 minutes. <laughs> so here is a video of my process of line of cutting. It's literally linoleum that I cut it in it. It's a pigeon. If you don't recognize it, it's quite hard to recognize, but it's like artistic pigeon. And I bought a new paper that I showed in my previous vlog and decided to try it right in the morning. So here is my first attempt when I decided to put line cut on top of a paper. And to be honest, it was a mistake, <laughs> you can see it, because you need more press. For second time, I realized I can do another way. So I added more color. It's a special color for line of printing, so it's dry, not that quick as gouache or other paint. So I decided to try another way if it will work, just to put a paper on it and to press it down more carefully to release all all color to 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 the paper you need to have a press to do it properly but still it's for fun so i do it by hands and yeah it was quite quite better now i love the print now i love the color now i love the shade so then I decided to cut out all the grounds that I had because it's a lot, a lot. I don't need it. And then I just cut out the ground to left my press only. And I draw that pigeon right on a linoleum, so I didn't have any sketches, I didn't have any ideas. I just draw on it in the center and f totally forget that I will need to cut out the ground, but still, the rest I will use for another prints. So here is a final print and I decided to add some details on the background. I didn't cut out the background completely, I just wanted to left some marks on it to to left it more crafty with a craft look. And then started again. So I just put it my my color on it and decided to do the same process, but now without a background. And this time I pressed more gently and longer to, to left all color on the paper and then I had a lovely image. Love it, love it. And I just realized I want to add more details to pigeon feathers, just to add more details on a tail, just to add, cut more details on a head to make it more realistic. I cut it the same holes because I wanted to be sure that image will be the same because it's a problem with liner cut because you can cut out something, some parts, and it's impossible to put it back. So you need to think twice before, before you are cutting. So I decided to cut on previous marks, but more deeply.
Here I have the cheapest tools, to be honest, the roller, it's like two pounds, uh, liner cut also one pound, the color, I don't know, like three, three pounds, four pounds, because it's special color for liner cutting. So I didn't start with something expensive, it's with some expensive tools, because I just wanted to try and realized I love it because you do it something by hands. It's like a pottery, but with less mess. <laughs> And it's a final print that I loved and I decided to add some details to see if it will look better on a bigger screen. I just decided to draw it randomly without any ideas, just to add details and to see how it will look in more detailed environment. But to be honest, I love when it's simple and just one one bird on a paper and here I'm showing my first print that I did and then the second one without like with background that I left uh, previously and then then I cut it out of the ground so it looks more minimalistic and more final and the final print And then I've done the final, final print without any drawing on it. And because I had color on my palette, so I decided to, to do one, one more to see how it will work if I will do not only one print, but more prints from one liner. And yeah, here we go. Love it. Usually when I'm doing some sketches and if I'm doing it not for selling, not for clients, I'm uh, adding notes on it to remember for myself. Maybe I can, could add some thoughts and yeah, left it dry because it's quite wet for a long time and added some details and added some details just because I had it. <laughs> Here we go, the final one. I love that paper. It's like a notebook paper, but still. And then I started to clean my desk to, to write on it and to work uh, with my laptop. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me in my process. Thank you.